today is a very special day because we're hanging out with not one, but two Bugatti Chirons, a Chiron Sport and a Chiron Pure Sport. <laughs> So let's take a look at the Bugatti Chiron Pure Sport. It has a base price of $3.6 million and there's only 60 cars being built. It's the track focused version of the regular Chiron, so it has less weight, more grip, and shorter gearing. It's also more direct and engaging than both the Chiron and the Chiron Sport. And it's 110 pounds lighter than the Chiron. This car is designed to be fast and agile in corners, whereas the Chiron and Chiron Sport are mainly focused on straight line speed. And it's called the Pure Sport because it's an unadulterated, uncompromising driving machine. So if we take a look at the design of this car, you'll notice in the front there's larger air intakes and a differently shaped nose over an expanded front splitter, which of course is exposed carbon fiber. So this splitter is larger and lower than the one on the standard Chiron. The iconic horseshoe shaped grille is also a bit wider and there are new extractors built into the tops of the slightly reshaped front fenders. To shave 110 pounds off the car, Bugatti removed the regular car's complex electro-hydraulic rear wing as well as some of its sound insulation and they put in thinner seats in the Pure Sport. As the most agile Chiron ever, the Pure Sport accomplishes in handling and lateral acceleration what the Super Sport 300 Plus achieves in top speed speed. It has a quad turbocharged 8 liter W16 engine that puts out 1,479 horsepower and 1,180 pound feet of torque. It can sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.3 seconds, quarter mile in 9.4 seconds, all the way up to a top speed of 217 miles per hour. If you're thinking that's not a very high top speed for a Bugatti, then you'd be right because the top speed of the Chiron Sport is 261 miles per hour, but because this generates more downforce and it's more focused on going around corners and being a track focused car, it has a lower top speed. This car has a seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission and it is all wheel drive and the rev limit was increased from 6700 to 6900 RPM. As an agile car, the throttle response is quicker, the steering is more precise and the handling is easy to control and predict. To provide for an even quicker steering response, this car has new Michelin Sport Cup 2R tires that are made from a softer compound. These tires actually generate 10% more grip, which helps with its cornering abilities. The Pure Sport features a new driving mode called ESC Sport Plus Mode and it lets the braking action of the stability control come into effect later which enables you to adjust your personal driving style from razor sharp ideal lines to thrilling power slides. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the 2021 Bugatti Chiron Pure Sport. I'm in love with it and I would definitely take it over the Chiron Sport and especially over the regular Chiron, even though it is a whopping $3.6 million. Now let's take a look at the Chiron Sport. This car starts at $3.3 million, so a little bit less than the starting price of the Pure Sport, and it's finished in blue tinted exposed carbon fiber, which looks incredible on this car. It's actually one of my favorite Bugatti specs I've ever seen. If we come around to the front, you can really see how it shines on the fenders. It's just amazing and I love the black wheels with the blue brake calipers and the interior is blue as well, blue and black. 
All of the Chirons have an 8-liter quad-turbocharged W16 engine. The Chiron, Chiron Sport, and Chiron Pure Sport all generate 1,479 horsepower, but the Super Sport 300 Plus makes 1,578 horsepower. Every model in the Chiron lineup has power sent to all four wheels by a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. These two cars would make a great two-car garage. You've got the weekend car 
and the daily car. Red over tan, classic 458 spec, definitely nothing out of the ordinary, but it's still beautiful. This is actually the very first 458 Italia delivered in the United States, which is really cool. got the jumper cables. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're wondering what it sounds like when an Aventador SVJ can't start up, there it is. This is unfortunate, but it happens, and the car will be running in no time. But let's quickly discuss the spec of this car because it is insane. It has a full chrome wrap with parts of it being holographic, as you can see at the front, and you also have purple striping. I can almost guarantee you've never seen an SVJ like this one before, unless you pay attention to the car scene in Japan. I know, how crazy. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my